Is Moose Toys' new Dream Seekers doll line a knockoff of MGA Nana Surprise? Find out after this. I say that because I've seen, I saw a lot of um, discussion online as soon as the picture of this actually popped up. People, you know, up in arms, like people usually are on the internet because they're safe. You know, saying that this was a um, complete knockoff of Na Na Surprise, da 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 da, looks cheap, all those kind of things. When I actually saw her in Sainsbury's, uh, they had the one of the other ones as well, there's three to get. I thought, oh, the quality actually looks good. And yes, it does, if you look in the face and then compare that to the Na Na Surprise, it's, yeah, it's kind of in the same vein, but it does look different as well. So on the front of the box, she's uh, like on a nice little, she's on like a nice little seat and stuff. I think a lot more companies are doing this. You know, there's no plastic on there, that's just cardboard. There'll be a few plastic ties and everything, but that's way better for the um, environment and everything, because just the cardboard can be recycled much better. But then I suppose you could get damage from the doll if it had been bashed around in the stock room or something. On the back, it's got the other three dolls that you can get. They had uh, the Hope doll, but they didn't have the Luna one. I probably would have got the Luna one as well, but the Hope one looks a bit too similar. So on the back, it says, Dream Seekers are mystical friends who are here to share their dreams and inspire you to follow yours. Bella, that's the one I've got. Bella is an animal lover. She dreams that all animals will be treated with love and kindness. Ah, see, we like Bella already. What I'll do, I'll get her out of the box and then I'll see how she is. So I've got her out of the box. She's a bit more like a rag doll, actually. Quite different to our surprise. I do think this is aimed at a younger child than what Nana Surprise is aimed at, because I kind of think Nana Surprise is kind of an older kid. These are a lot heavier. Obviously, this is the little sister this is a little sister version and not the uh, bigger one. I don't have any of the big girls. Um, the hair, I'm just trying to think the hair. The, the hair is good. This is good quality. It kind of feels like rainbow high hair. There is a bit of product in the back. Uh, she's got wings. Uh, she's got beanie, a beanie bottom so she can actually sit on. So she can still use this as a chair. So she can still sit on this chair, that's really good. There was hardly any plastic, just these little these little things, and that was it. So that's really good for the environment. I'm all for companies doing that, because there's so much plastic that's on action figure boxes, doll boxes, everything. But uh, she's cute. I think the face, I'll just look at both of them together there. It's similar, but I think you can you can tell the difference. I think people have just kind of got the assumption they are very similar and this company kind of knocked off this one just because it's a painted fabric kind of doll face. So I think that's why. But it's not kind of, you know those knockoffs you get in really cheap shops and you can tell they're knockoff. This is good quality, this is a good quality doll. I'd probably give this kind of like to a three to five year old. But I think I think she's cute and it's got a, uh, she's got a little cat on her vest. Hi Liz, if you're watching. There's a cat, Liz. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, my friend Liz loves cats. And the little, the trainers, they kind of look, oh, they've got cats on as well. The trainers look like they could fit a Barbie or a Ken. So I will try that and take a picture on there. But I think it's cute. I, I think it's a cute doll line that is for a younger child. I think it's sweet as well. I like the fact she's a fairy. I might get the Luna one, I'm not sure. Also on the box, it's got a little pop down thing because there's a dream catcher on there. Not a real one. I think it would have been good if it had, if you could open the box up and it had like a real dream catcher, like a plasticky one with the cats on and stuff. I think that would have been really cool. Like if each one had a different actual real dream catcher, that would have been nice. But you fold down this little bit and then don't know if you can see, it actually uh, says my dream is. I think that's really sweet for kids because they can do that. They can write what their dream is for the day and then go to sleep, cuddle their Bella doll. And then, you know, I think that's quite nice. I think that's quite sweet. But yeah, I do like the fact that that can be reusable. So in conclusion, I do think, yes, 
similar, but I think there's enough difference to differentiate the two products. And I think she's cute. I think she's sweet. I'll pop her on my shelf. She can stay there. So, yes, all in all, good doll. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.